Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP NV laptop. This one is an HP NV 13-AH0001 and in this video I'm going to cover up one topic that everybody, I've, keep, I've been getting a lot of it. People keep telling me why don't I do an upgrade on the RAM for this one and because I'm a task manager it does say one out of two and that means there's a slot available but that's not true the window detects a bias and the bias doesn't go well with the motherboard sometimes it doesn't know physically how much is it installed or no these laptops they have a ram soldered on the board they don't have a ram jack or ram slot available and in this video i'm going to go really quickly open it up and so you guys can see by yourself why it does not have a ram available so you guys can take that out of the mind if you want to purchase this. If you get a 6 gig version, 8 gig version or 4 gig version, that's what you stuck with. You cannot upgrade or add or remove the RAMs. All right. With all that said, let's go ahead and open it up. So first and first, we're going to power it off. We are going to flip it upside down and grab the opening tool. I'll be using it. I fix the screwdriver set for the screws. We are going to use a Phillips number one and torque number five that's a six that one is a torque number five and for the opening tool i'll be using a guitar pick uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers we're going to stick it on the bottom front end blow rubber right there and we are going to wrap this one up put it to one side do the same thing on the back end wrap it and bring it up now we have exposed the screws at the back, screws, two screws on the front, and obviously the exposed fork screws. We are going to remove the screws on the back. These are the screws are the same size and height. There's two screws on the chrome here. These are the same size and height. And the hex, the torques are the same. So go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys to understand, to do your own upgrades, you can support me by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once we remove those, we're gonna keep them in one part. We're gonna remove the two in the front. And we're gonna switch to a torque number, I mean, torque number five. We're gonna remove the two all the way in the front end. And there we have it. Now, we are gonna grab the laptop just like this. And we are going to stick the opening tool, in this case, the guitar pick between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. One or two millimeters. And we're just going to lift it up like that. Once you see the opening right there, you want to let it go. Same thing in here. You want to wiggle it around. You want to hear a few clicks. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear those tiny clicks. You want to work yourself on the corner. Do the left and right side. Once you do that side, now you want to do the right side. All right, now you're going to feel like, a, okay, you did all side, but the, it's still, the cover is still not coming out. The reason is there's a two tiny hooks in the middle on the cover. To get those ones loose, you want to grab it from the corner, bring it up. You want to pull up a little hard and wiggle it around a little bit, hold the cover and pull it up. And you want to hit those nice snapping jaws. Those are from this clip right there. And the clip right there that goes and they go hold it through these tiny hooks right here. Okay, once we remove this one, you can see the whole motherboard, the battery, everything. So there's your SSD, the battery right there. Those are components right in here. There's no RAM right there. There's no RAM right in here. There is a RAM size would be, this is a normal RAM size. So I can't put a RAM right there. There's no RAM fitting right there. RAM chips, they don't have to fill. There is nothing under here. So to disconnect this one, I'm gonna disconnect the battery for a second. So let's go and remove these shieldings. There's a components right there. And in here, there's a components right in here too. Uh, these are have a lot of hooks, tougher hooks than the other side. There we go. So there's no RAM chips right in here. There's no RAM. The RAM chips are right under this sticker. One, two, three, few of them in here. So these are the RAMs that are installed. They have a sticker right over them. This cover comes with a tiny hooks. You have to make sure you align the hooks. 
and put them right over. So and let's put the same one in here. So I'm doing all this so you guys don't have to do on yours. So you get an idea, you can rely that there is no RAM upgradability on these models. So once you have that one in there, all you need to do is grab the battery connector and stick it right evenly to the connector. If you have disconnected the battery, once you plug it back into power on, you have to wait up to 10 to 15 seconds and then it's gonna boot up. And the last thing is to put it back together, press the bottom cover, snap it right on top, press on the middle for those two hooks, corners, back, and on the side. And the last thing would be to just switch back to Phillips number one and put the black screws at the back and the rest of the screws on the front end of the laptop. I hope you guys like this video and it helps you guys to understand why you can't upgrade the RAM for your HP NV13 model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.